Welcome back. This will be a quick video on how to use W scales. Um, these scales are found on the Faber-Castell 283 and 283N slide rolls. Um, they're also found on an older slide roll called the dual 5-inch, 10-inch slide roll. I believe that slide roll is made by Charvaz. Um, but they're most popular for being found on the 283 and 283N slide rolls. This slide roll is a 6283, uh, which is the um, 5 inch version of the 283 slide roll. Um, the front side of this slide roll is fairly standard uh, folded scales, trig on the base, uh, K scale, uh, but on the reverse you have these W scales uh, W1 and W2 on the base, W1 prime, W2 prime on the slide. W1 and W1 prime are identical as are W2 and W2 prime. Now, you'll notice there's no A and B scale on the, this slide roll, and the intention is that the W scales um, are the replacement for A, B on this slide roll. So what are the W scales? Uh, well, if here is the length of your slide roll and here is a C or D scale, uh, we know the A or B scale is half length, um, and you need two of them to be as long as a C or D scale. Well, the W scale is a logarithmic scale, um, which is twice as long as the C or D scale, Otherwise, it's graduated in the same way, logarithmically, base 10. Um, okay, so the middle of the C, D scale here is the number square root 10. The middle of the W scale would be square root 10. But of course, our slide roll is only this long, so we cut here. That's square root 10. The first half is called W1, the second half is called W2, and that's how these scales are made. So if you see here, you have the index 1. On the other end here, there is uh, a red line, uh, which is the right index of this W1 scale. Uh, that's at square root 10, which is right past pi. Uh, so let's see how to use these scales. Uh, you might know how to use them to some degree if you've used a Versalog slide roll or a Pickett slide roll with square root scales, uh, because W1 and W2, they are the same as those square root scales you see on those slide rolls. Uh, the difference here is that we have those scales both on the base and on the slide, uh, so we can use them in more ways than you can on a Versalog. Uh, so let's let's close the rule here. Uh, to compute 2.5 squared, I'm going to find 2.5 on W1. Every number appears once, either on W1 or W2. Now. The W scale is twice as long as the C scale, so I'm going to read result on the C scale here. You could read it on the on the back side on D also, uh, but I'll read it on C here, 6, 2, 5. Uh, we know that's exact. Um, if you want to compute 5.4 squared, 5.4 here is up on W2. And I've knocked the alignment off a little bit here. Um, I'll read the square of 5.4 on the C scale. Let's see, it looks like 2, 2, 9, 1. Let's read that as 29.1. Uh, to find a square root, you do this in reverse. Uh, so you find the number uh, 1.95 on the C scale. Then you have to use the rule that you would use for A and B. Since 1.95, that's a one-digit number, I'm going to read the square root on W1. Uh, looks like about 1.395. Whereas the square root of a two-digit number, 19.5, would be up here on W2. It looks like 441. Okay, we know you can do combined operations with... Uh, a, B, and C, and D together. You can do all of these with W and C, um, or D and W, um, but the C and D scales are the shorter scales now, and the W scale is the longer scale. So to do 2.1 times 3.92 squared, I'm going to set 2.1 on D. Then I'm going to flip the slide roll. I'm going to multiply, so I'm going to align the index. Oh, sorry. I'm doing this. I'm doing this the wrong way. Uh, the base scale here should be considered the, the W scale. So let's find two point. Oh no, sorry, I was doing the right thing. I uh, find two point one on D. 
Then I'm going to multiply, so let's pull the index under. Then I'm going to go out to the 3.92, but I'm going to do that on the W scale. So that's on W2 prime. 3.92, about there. Then let's flip back and read result on the D scale. Uh, it looks like about 3.22. 322. Let's read that as 322. Ah, and that should be 32.2. Okay. Uh, if you want to do 8 times square root 2, this is where you should use the W scale as your main scale. Right, so let's find 8 on W2. Then the C scale is half the length, uh, so I could multiply by square root 2 uh, by finding the index here. Then going out to the 2 on C. Uh, to divide, you could align the 2 on C with that 8 and then go out to the index. Um, okay, so uh, from the 8, I'm going to the end here, to the end of the W scale, back to the beginning, and then back to about here. So I'm going to read this on W1 as 1, 1, uh, looks like about 1, 1, 3. And that should be 11.3. Uh, but if I wanted to multiply by square root 20, I would go, go through another copy of the C scale, and I'm going to end up on W2, and read that as 3, 5, looks like 3, 5, 8, 35.8. Another interesting consequence of the longer logarithmic scale is you can key your log scale to it. Uh, so the log scale on this slide roll, also on the dual 5 inch, 10 inch slide roll, is key to the W scales. This is not the case on the Versa log, kind of interestingly. They could have done it, uh, but they didn't. Um, then this gives you a, an L scale uh, for base 10 logs, which has higher resolution. Now, uh, the downside on this slide roll is they could have put in higher uh, resolution tick marks, but they didn't uh, on the L scale here. Uh, the trick is, if you want to read something from W1, say 2.4 on W1, uh, then you read that using the numbers on the left. So 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, looks like 0.38. Let's read that as 0 0.380. Whereas a number like 5.2, I want the log of 520, that's on W2. Um, I know I need to start this with a 2, uh, but since that's on W2, you use these numbers on the right, so 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, looks like 0.716. Okay. Alright, but the main event here is how you do high resolution multiplication and division with the, with the W scales. Okay, the trick is you, you use a red index, which is the index here or the index here, which are marked in red, um, if your two numbers are on opposite things, so W2 and, say, W1 prime, those are opposite. Okay. But if you're adjacent, say, here and here or here and here, you use a black index. So let's demonstrate with operations that we know. So to multiply by 4, I'm going to find the 4 on W1. I'm going to align the index. Ah. Oops. I'm not going to be able to find, not going to be on scale there, so I need to align this index. Okay, that index is that index is black. So when I find the four, I should read the result adjacent or eight. But if I was to want to do two times one point five, I would read the result adjacent here three. Okay, that's because I use a, a black index, this one or this ten over here, which are black. If I want to do two times two point five, I see that I need to swap indices here and use the red index. So here I have a line 2 with the red index. So 2 times 2.5, 2 2.5 is here on W1 prime. Since I've used the red index, the, re the result is here, opposite 5, on W2 instead of W1. Okay, if I want to do 2 times 7, I find the 7, but I read correct result down here, 14. Again, that's because I've used the red index. Let's look at a couple divisions. So to do 6 divided by 5, I see the 6 here is on W2. 
I'm going to align the 5 on W2 prime. Remember, each number appears once, either on W1 or W2. I'm using W1 prime, W2 prime as the C scale, W1, W2 as the D scale. So to do division on D, I would find the 6, then I would align the number on C, uh, which is the 5. Okay, well, I see that that alignment is adjacent. So when I look for the result, I'm going to look for a result at a black index. So only one black index is on scale. It's here. This is a red index. Correct result 1.2 is here at this black index. Correct result 1.2 is here at this black index. If I wanted to do 6 divided by 2, um, I found the 6 already on W2. I see that the 2 is on W1 prime. Okay. That alignment, however, is opposite. 6 and 2 are opposite. So I should read correct result on a red index. So red index is here, the correct result there, 3. So to recap, when using the W scales to do high resolution multiplication and division, you get essentially a slide roll which is twice the length uh, uh, that you would think. So this is a 5 inch slide roll. So W1 and W2 are marked out as if they're on a 10 inch slide roll. So I have increased resolution. Um, you use them as if W1 and W2 are a D scale, W1 prime and W2 prime are a C scale. Uh, so you do multiplication and division in the normal way. But if your alignment is opposite, you use red index. If your alignment is adjacent, you use black index. That's the trick. So they've done a nice color coding here for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you now can use the W scales on your slide roll. Have a great day.